today I wanted to go over histograms. I've had some people on social media request that I talk about doing a simple histogram on Python for beginners, and I'm going to go over the simplest way I know how to do it at least. So what is a histogram? A histogram, if you look that up on Google, it's simply just a bar graph. So you have some data and it shows like progressions and digressions, things like that. And so this person wanted a little bit of a visual that we can just print out simply on the console. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So I want to do my data inside of a dictionary. So this person in particular wanted to do something about weight loss. And so we want to show their weight loss progression through the months of the year. So I'm just going to create a dictionary. I'll call it weight loss. And the way you want to do a dictionary, remember you want to do the squiggly brackets. And inside of there, we want to have a key and a value pair. So my keys, I'm just going to make that into the month colon. And I'm just going to put in a number of how much weight that they lost. And then I'm going to do that for every single line. And I'm just going to do some random numbers. And I'll go ahead and I'll pause here and fill this out so you don't have to watch this entire thing. I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and filled out the rest of that object. So I have all the months of the year and just some random numbers of the amount of weight that we're going to lose for each month. So I'm going to start off by giving it a function. So I'll define that function and I'll just call it histogram. And I'm going to pass in the object weight loss, colon, enter, and I'm going to, I'm just going to print it out. Now I will call the function and let's see, whoops, histogram and I'll pass it the object of weight loss. Cool. So that worked properly. It sent this data, it received the data, now it's printing the data. And here it is on the console. So now we know that we have access to our function and that's working properly. So let's use the for loop. And if you want more details on the for loop, check out my other video on the for loops. Um, so I'm going to start by saying for each month, comma, and each weight loss, I'll just say loss, inside of weight loss dot items. And I'll explain a little bit about what I'm doing there in a sec. So I'm just simply going to print the month so far. Cool. So that's all working properly. Uh, so I'm using two variables here. And the reason being is because I have an object. Now, usually it's just one, but when it comes to objects and looping through them, we want to use two. And so when you want to use multiple items, you just separate by the comma. And so when it loops through here, it's going to say, Okay, the first thing that I see, the key, I'm going to assign it to month. And when I see this number next to it in the value, then I'm going to assign that to loss. And then weight.items, the reason I do dot .items is we can see here. So if I just do weight loss, it will say there's too many values to unpack. And so usually when there's just a list or a string that we're trying to loop through, we would write it like this, but 
we would only have one variable to assign. And so when it comes to objects, we need to do dot items, and that grabs both of the items, the key and the value. And items is a function, so we have the parens right there, okay? And so that's working properly. And then let's test out loss. Perfect. So I like to use string interpolation. So I'll do the F there for format. And I'll just say print out the month. And we can just have a colon. And I want to print out the loss. And let's see what that gives me so far. Perfect. So that's looking really great so far. Now we want to see the more of a visual, like a bar graph. And so the way you can do that is that you can simply take loss because loss is a integer. So we can use a little bit of math and we're just going to multiply it by a string. So in this string, you can do whatever you like. I'm just going to do the equal sign and I'm gonna do single quotes since I use double quotes for my original string. So I'm just gonna use the equal sign. Now let's hit run. Cool. So now you can see that we have, so we have 12 up here in January and we have five in February. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five equal signs. So whatever that value of loss is, we multiply it by a string. And again, you can do that for whatever you'd like. You can do O's and I'll do the same thing. Cool. And I think I want these to be to start out in the same place. So I'm just gonna simply put in a tab right there. You can do backslash T for tab. Awesome, now that's all lined up. And let's give it a little bit more data just outside of the equal signs. I'm just going to put in that number, which is loss. Great. So that's at least my solution for how to do a histogram when it comes to weight loss or whatever data you'd like. Uh, if you have any questions or have any ideas on videos you'd like to see, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, take those into consideration as I do need more ideas for future videos. So like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.